In this video, we're going to talk about finding certain parts of an atom based on information we can find in our chemistry reference table. So again, this is kind of going off the New York State chemistry reference table. And what you would, of course, need is your actual periodic table. And potentially, you would need table S if you're not familiar with some of the names. Remember, table S lists, of course, the atomic number and the symbol and the name. So you might need those. But most of the other details we're actually going to pull off of uh, something like this. It, it, we're using the key, we're using the elements, and we're going to be able to determine that. So a couple of things we're going to want to find and go through, and some things are kind of given, we're kind of figuring this out as we go through, is based on details that we provide and what you learned in class. And so, for example, we know that this is chlorine because it says it's chlorine. Now remember, an isotope is the same element or the same type of atom, but they're, they're slightly different in mass because of the different number of neutrons that are present. Not every atom has the same number of neutrons. And so the element, of course, we would fill that in. That's chlorine. The symbol, CL. Remember, your first letter is always capital. Second letter is always lowercase. When we look that up, over here we see, I'm going to pull this up there, we see chlorine is atomic number 17. CL is number 17. Remember the atomic number right here for our key for this specific periodic table is over here in the bottom left, the bold number. So it's atomic number 17. Now the mass number is taken by looking at the actual value that we have here. I'll bring it a little bit closer so we can zoom in and actually taking that number and rounding it. And so if we look at this 35.453, that would round down. We look at the value after our first decimal value, because it's less than five, we're gonna round this down. So this will be 35. Normally, that's what we would do for an isotope for the mass number the most common. But in this example, we've already given you the value of 36. So some chlorine exists as chlorine 35, some chlorine exists as chlorine 36. So when we look at that, the mass number always comes at the very end when we write it this way, chlorine-36. So we're going to put a 36 there. Now, over to the side, I'm actually going to just put something a little extra. Sometimes you'll actually see it written this way, where we have a 36 and then chlorine, and then the atomic number as well may or may not be listed at the bottom. So 36 over 17 CL. That's called nuclear notation. Okay, just a little bit different way to write it. Now, the number of protons we know is always the same as the atomic number. The atomic number is based on the number of protons. So these two columns are always going to be the same. Now, this says this is a neutral atom. One of the things we also learned in chemistry class is that when an atom is neutral, it has to have the same number of protons as it does electrons. So if I have 17 protons, that means I have, of course, 17 electrons. Now, one of the things that you want to look at in order to calculate some of these things, especially like if I look down here, I don't know what the mass number is, but I see that the mass number is over here. The mass number is always the protons and neutrons added up together. So 36 is equal to 17 plus 19, or I could say if I have my mass number, I could subtract the protons. So 36 minus 17 equals 19. If I have the number neutrons, I could subtract and figure that out. And so again, that's what we're really doing here when we figure that out. So if we look at the next row, we have slightly different numbers. We have the atomic number 11 and a mass number of 24. Now, if I know the atomic number is 11, I know my protons are 11, I know my electrons are 11, and I know whatever my element is here is gonna end in 24 because those two numbers are gonna be the same. The mass number is gonna be the same. So 36 or chlorine 36, and then 24 with 24. But the question is, what's number 11, okay? So we gotta to go to our reference table. Number 11 is over here, element Na, which is sodium. So Na, and then we have sodium. And because it's called sodium, and it's the 24 version, we have sodium 24. Now, if we go and look at the sodium on our reference table, notice the value is 22.98977. This would actually round up to 23. So some sodium is sodium 23, some sodium is sodium 24. Again, they're isotopes of the same element. So it just means they have different numbers of neutrons. So again, how do we figure out the number of neutrons in this case? All I have to do is take my mass number and my proton, and I can just subtract. So 24 minus 11 is gonna be 13. 
So hopefully you've figured out and you've determined what we're doing here. You can use that knowledge to finish the rest of the table, all right? Look forward to seeing your success with calculating and figuring out protons, neutrons, electrons, mass number, and isotope.